Okay. So this is single-sided boxing where we can stand behind, so it's really good for registration tables. So what you're going to want to do is have the front of your table, make sure the linen is down to the bottom. You're going to pick up this corner, and you're going to make sure that it goes right out, and you're going to just test. It's okay to be really long, but you don't want it anything shorter. Then what you're going to do is pick up from the back corner. It's going to go right out, like as if it was like a table extended. Kind of put your finger here, and what you're going to do is fold it back on top of itself without moving this finger. Once it's down, you're going to pull on the linen, make sure it's nice and flat. Then you're going to take your arm, you're going to put it right here, and fold back on top. By doing that, you have a nice, clean, crisp cord. So we're doing a single-sided boxing that would be normally for coffee stations that we're gonna put up against a wall. So you wouldn't be able to stand behind it. Typically it's two tables, so don't worry about the other end. We're only gonna focus on this end. What you're gonna do is make sure your linen is right to the bottom. You don't wanna see any feet. You're going to grab the linen from this corner, extend it out, okay? Fold it and make sure that it passes the edge of the uh, table. You don't want it to be too long, just enough so that you don't have any space. What you're gonna do is take that corner, take your thigh, you're gonna hold the linen, make sure it doesn't move, take this hand to this corner, and you're gonna flip and flip. Okay, then what you're gonna do is come over here, you're gonna hold it, put your other hand underneath, and you're gonna straighten it out. Tuck a little bit there, and there you go. Okay, so this one is a double-sided boxing. So this is when you're gonna have double-sided buffets or any type of table in the middle where people are on either side. So what you're gonna do is take your linen and you're going to have it kind of short and you're gonna hold it up. What you're looking for is to make sure that it overlaps. There's no gap. There's not too much linen, which means it's too long. So you really wanna make sure it's nice and clean. Okay. You also want to make sure that the bottom is nice and straight. So you have the middle, you're picking up the middle here, and then you're going to gently stuff it underneath. Before you remove your hand, put your other hand here, remove your arm, you're holding the linen 
to make sure that it doesn't move. Then you're just gonna straighten it out right there. I pulled it a little extra. Straight out, make sure there's no bumps, and there you go.